Should we um talk about something intelligent today? Ah, he'd probably like us too, right? Even though nobody sees that shit because we don't have any fucking followers or whatever, but it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, so really what we're likely, you know, going to devote the second half of our life to is, um, well, actually, we're just going to create our own personality profile because I know how they, you know, how they do it. And um, I really like the predictive index one the best because of the way the chart works. I mean, you have to have it with the paid version when you're, you know, doing a corporate or whatever. They just tell you, this, you know, the same thing like a... Um, like a disc or 16 personalities. I think 16 personalities is the um, most user-friendly one. I, I like the, the graphic art they use. It makes it easier for people to visualize and understand what's going on. But but no, for real, because like I can, you know, I was talking about it as in, in league of what my father could do back in the day, but I do it, you know, almost as good, we'll say. Yes, let's be nice. Um, but yeah, like there could be 20 people in a room in 20 fucking minutes. I'll tell all 20 of them what they are and get 100% of them, you know, 85% correct or better, you know, it's, it's not difficult when you think about it through subcategory each section, um, I mean, some people you haven't spoken to them at length, but you can, there's a couple good questions, you'll know what they are, um, but what's really important, um, what I want to, like I said, kind of devote the second half of my life to is, uh, teaching people how to, I mean, one thing I'm going to do, it's just going to be a, I want to say devote my life to, maybe, you know, it's one of my, it's one of the things I want to leave intellectually here, okay, but, um, devoting, how to, how to not just hire, um, and train salespeople, but really hire anybody based on personality profiles. And I don't want to, I don't want you to not hire them because they don't fit if they, you know, um, but I, I want the world thinking more about how to make the world happy. And the way you do that is really when you're, you're doing tasks that align well to, um, your, your dopamine, basically. I mean, your your dopamine hits, and if if you know, so no, Al, I shouldn't say that because not everybody, for not everybody, that's a problem or uh, as relevant, I guess you want to say, right? Um, but but you know, when you're doing tasks and you're being rewarded for those tasks based on that, you know what I mean? Um, it just helps everybody have more fun and be more efficient, right? Um, so. We're going to create our own, though, because none of them are sufficient, you know. Um, but they're good. I mean, I don't want to say they're not sufficient. They are sufficient, but they're not um, perfect as they can be, right? Um, and so what really, really bothers me is that I see all these companies using them and then, like, not applying anything they learned from the assessment, right? Like, it was just like, you know, there's so much shit I can't say because I sign fucking non-disclosures and shit, but, like... You know, so I, I won't mention any names or anything. I'll just say that, um, you know, like you'll see them, they, 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 they want you to, and, and I, half the time I'm just spying on them. Like they think I'm fucking applying, dude. I'm, I'm just seeing what you're doing, dude. Um, and anyway, I mean, that's not to say anything I ever applied for means I'm spying on you. I'm just saying like, uh, let's not even get into it. Um, but you know, they want you to fill all this shit out. Like, what are you doing with the information that, like, the next step in your process is torture the people b based on applying none of that, right? Like, and, and I get there's other things. Like, they try to put you through these processes at times where they want to see, you know, kind of what you look like when you're flustered or, or when you crack. Um, you know, in reality, we would we would never be in that position, right? So, like, I, I, I'll humor you once, right? But no, like, we would have to have our shit perfectly down before we don't allow people to see us like that right and then so when they start wanting to put you on um i'm getting off on a tangent you know what i mean but all these zooms and stuff it's because they're spying on you trying to get what you do you know i'm not giving you what i do um so that's why i like being in person because it's, it's more valuable in a way right if they can just you know study your every fucking mannerism and then try to you know teach you i mean i don't know dude I wouldn't think it's happy, but see, because these people are, are predatory like that. Um, they are. But that's neither here nor there. What I mean, though, is why do you want the information if you're not applying it correctly? And so what really, where it really becomes important is in transaction cycle times um, and just activity level. You know what I mean? Um, some people are, are just way better at certain types of tasks and they're just always going to be, and, and they're way more motivated at them just because of the way they're, their chemistry and their brain works, you know what I mean? Um, but, you know, instead of, like, people think about people, um, they, I mean, 
we tend to – what the world does, and they, they do it unconsciously, and then if you talk about it, they get mad at you about it, is doing everything based on IQ, right? I mean, in a way, because everybody's jammed into these unnatural categories and positions, and then it just became who did them better because they were fucking smarter. You know what I mean? Where if we naturally, um, and I, I'm not trying, I'm not talking about this from a, a you know, a, an urban planner position because it's not you know the government, it's not you know some um, fucking big brother like force that's going to do it. Um, though I suppose it could, right? Um, but it's really more the more the free market knows this shit. Um, so, you know, the, the 16, it's easy. I mean, it's just the way you, you process information. You know, we can give you a quick rundown about whether you're intuitive or you know, you're, you're fucking extroverted or introverted. But there, there's huge variation in that. Like, you can... So I'm an ENTP, right? Like, who the hell don't know that? Um, but, you know, you can be an ENTP in, like, if... Four of your categories are 85%. You can be as different as another ENTP where everything was 55% versus one where you're like one off, right? Like you're, you know, 85, 85, you know, 45 the other way on one eighty five. I mean, that person, you, you got to look at the next one down as well. You, you actually need the percentages. And that's why I like what um, Predictive Index does because you can see the chart. You can see how many sigmas. Um, and it will change sometimes people, people sometimes report now, I've been an ENTP since I was a little kid. It, it's never changed anytime I've ever taken the test. And that's probably because most of my shit is pretty high, but one of them is like a 55, 45. And yet it never dips below that thing. Anyway, time I take it. So, um, so that matters, but, but it, it does change according to some people at different times in their life. And that's probably the ones that are right on the border, but I've even seen people said they take it. It was like a 67 one day and then they were on the other side, the other. So I don't know. Um, but that's what I also like about predictive index is the, the way they, they do it in two different ways so they can show what your current concept is versus what you more are intrinsically or inherently, right? Um, so, so I like all that. And then actually, and then I like what they do with the M score because it really does show what kind of, um, pressure you can put a person under, you know what I mean? What kind of, like, what they can deal with before... You know, I'm fucking freaking out and not being able to handle it. But you can know that information without having to do that to the people, right? Like, I, so I'm, I'm seeing some of these processes where, like, like they're intentionally doing that to see who's going to flake and who could do it. But, like, you know, all this fucking shit with the tech, you know, um, and I get, like, in some of these things, like, if you have, if it's a telesales position, for example, you want to make sure the person's, you know, tech savvy at least. Like, you don't, they got to be able to fucking operate a webcam and get on the fucking thing and blah, blah, blah. But, like, like, dude, you're taking fucking a week, 10 days to get all these people up and fucking running. Um, my guy will just, you know, you share your screen. He'll set up your fucking Trello, your phone burner, your fucking Google Calendar, your Meet, your, all that shit in 20 minutes. Like, why are you torturing the salespeople? Dude, fucking Lloyd, you give him 17 opportunities to plug a modem into a wall. He'll miss 16 fucking times in a row and then murder the whole room. Like, you know what I mean? In sales, like, fuck, like, you know, you're just, just losing all your best people, dude. Like, what are we doing? Um, but yeah, no, I just wanted to um, give you a little bit about, you know, behind the scenes kind of some of the shit I'm writing um, while we're doing everything else we're doing. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm going to go work on some pitches. we got to fix some shit. Um, but yeah, just in case you thought we were, you know, crazy. Um, yeah, we're not. Oh, but, you know, but the other thing, though, um, it's really, it, it also is a lot to do with how those traits relate to one another. Like, like they don't exist in a vacuum. That's the other thing I liked about kind of predictive index, at least in their, their training shit, you know. Um, it's not you're just you're this or you're this. How much of this you are versus how much or little you are of the other quadrant, Right. Um, where with the personalities, you can kind of see it on a graph and like, you'll, so you can see if they wing down this way or that way, but that actually, though accurate, doesn't tell you as much. Um, and then there's other things that I, I think should be included in it, though I don't know how you do it strategically without people lying to you, but like, um, you know, I, I give psychology a bunch of shit, but like your adverse childhood score, like, um, you know, it's going to tell you a lot about a person, right? Um, not... Again, 
not everything, and you don't want to exclude people based on it. You don't want to fucking, you know, because people get over shit. Um, and, you know, some of them have been through fucking therapy for years, and they're fine, and others, it was never that high, but they have, there, there's other reasons they're maladjusted. Um, but, you know, uh, some way to, to get that in for, you know, I don't want to give out too much, but you know what I'm saying? It, it's how they, because then, you know, you're not going to buy it. Um, but, but it's how those traits actually interact with each other, um, and we get pretty deep into that, because, because nobody else really does, you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, just, just a little bit, anyway, 